Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a minute since I've posted something. I have so much to update you guys about. Um, it's currently Tuesday and 7.20 a.m. I'm just having a little bit of me moment before going into my Pilates class this morning. I knew I was going to film a week in my life this week, but I completely forgot about it yesterday. But not that much interesting happened. I walked the entire day and also I went to tennis at night. That's something that's new to me. That I'm adding to my routine. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, I'm a data scientist. I live in Toronto and this is a week in my life. <laughs> It is 8.15 in the morning. I have a meeting at 9. And so I'm gonna do a peanut butter and jelly sandwich for breakfast. Don't judge me. I've been really just I've just been feeling like peanut butter and jelly sandwich lately. So yeah, I'm just gonna make myself a sammy and then get back to work. I'm gonna take my morning meeting, take a shower after that, and do some head down work. I actually do have quite a bit of meetings today. It doesn't usually happen. A lot of my times are just random meetings with my teammates when needed, but also just head down coding time. But we are hiring. We're looking to expand the team quite drastically. Right now we have two research scientists, two data scientists, but we're also looking to hire a machine learning engineer, data engineer, a program manager, and a technical product manager. We do have two interviews today. Because we're a very small team and the startup environment, we all help out. My manager, who is the VP of research, usually do the first round of interview for an hour and then it's a panel interview with the team. We don't really have any questions prepared ahead of time. It's really just a casual conversation to see, can we see ourselves working with this person? Also, we are the one actually working on the problem. So we can ask the candidate about um, specific background questions and see if they can really do the job and can help contribute to the team. I actually really like it because I think it gives me a lot of insights into what I should be like as a candidate. One insight that stood out most was probably if they ask you if you have experience with something, if you have done certain type of projects. Even if you haven't, don't just say no because they ask the questions for a reason. And if they can't picture you in that role, they're not gonna move forward with you. Don't lie either, but you can say, no, I don't have direct experience with XYZ, but I do have this other experience that could be related and could have transferable skills. Definitely get yourself talking uh, as a chance to also continue the conversation. It's the same thing as if you were at an event or at a party. If someone asks you a question, you just say yes or no. It's kind of like it doesn't give the other person a lot to feed off of to continue the conversation. I will keep thinking about what else I have learned um, and I will make a dedicated video just for that. If you're interested, let me know in the comment below and I will make that happen. And that's it. Look at my sandwich. It's just so simple, but sometimes it hits the spot. I'm gonna go grab a scissor. Guys, I'm actually so excited to do this unboxing. I have two items here. My jewelry that I ordered from Anna Luisa. I got two necklaces and one ring. Also a winter wool jacket, the Connor Long Coat from Maurizia. I've never worn ring before, but I always wanted to try them out because I feel like they're just all over my feet these days and it looks really good. Are you excited too? You want to sniff? Oh, face scratcher. <laughs> it's actually really well packaged. Having a hard time. Okay, let me just adjust the camera a little bit so you can also see my cat's reaction. Not that you asked for it. <laughs> All right, are you ready? Okay, okay. So we have three items. Which one should we open first? Well, they're all face scratchers to her. Okay, let's check out the ring first. Okay, so this is the Celine ring. It's got 14K gold. It looks so well made. I think I got the size 10. I am going to take the tag off. I'm kind of excited to see what it looks like when I'm typing. Like I code all day long and I think I'm gonna be in a good mood when I see this on my hand. But okay, let's move on to the next one. I've been looking forever for a necklace that has a butterfly on it. I also really like Anne Luisa as a brand because they are environmentally conscious and carbon neutral. I'm kind of a lazy 
person when it comes to jewelries. I like to wear a necklace and I don't have to take off when I'm in the shower. And with 14k gold, you can definitely do that. I love how subtle it is. And it's just sort of there and you can see it, but then also it doesn't like stand out and overpower your outfit. Yeah. Okay. One last order that I had was a gold chain. Everybody has one these days and I just, I love the look of this because I'm very simplistic. I always want to go for that minimalist look when it comes to jewelries on me. And so I really like how this is not too shiny, but just shiny enough that it looks cute. And everything I got was under $100. I'm very happy with my purchase. It's totally worth it. I'm going to link all of the items that I bought in the description down below. And if you're interested, they also offer free US shipping and affordable worldwide shipping. Now let's move on to Aritzia. It's the Connor Long Coat. I think it was, they called a Heather Almond color. I'm really hoping it's more like white and cream than yellow because it's really hard to tell. And I couldn't find a picture of it anywhere. I believe it is a new color this year. So this is what it looks like when the buttons are up. It is quite long. I am 5'7", five, 5'8", five, and it hits like almost not too far from my ankle. This is what it looks like if I just wear it open, but I'm not sure if I'm 100% sold on the color. So let me know in the comment below what you think. Should I keep it? That is the end of my attempt to be a fashion blogger. I don't think I'm very good at it, but I'm getting better. So thank you for bearing with me. around 8 in the evening so I'm writing a piece of blog article for my company I know this is technically work but I'm completely okay doing it on my own time and just hear me out I've been having these mentorship sessions with the co-founder of my company chief product officer and someone I look up to I wanted to learn from her about women in leadership her past social media experience marketing for the company we've been having weekly or bi-weekly sessions depending on how busy the company is but she asked me if I would write this article for her or for the company's LinkedIn page and so I think doing this this blog article for her is a really great way to also practice my writing skills especially I don't write that much anymore on the job being a data scientist and second of all I wanted to do this because this is just sort of a form of appreciation that I see for the time that she put in investing in me and she's the one responsible to write all these articles for the company if I can take something off her plate I'm just more than happy to do that yeah that's my rationale and that's what I'm gonna do for the rest of the evening plus um, if I have time, I'll work on my own content a little bit on Instagram.
Hi, I am on my way right now to uh, Midtown Toronto to film a podcast and I'm just really excited because I've done podcasts before. This is the first time I'm actually doing it in a studio and this sounds really legit. I'm excited to meet the person. Um, so I'll see how it goes. Guys, she's so put together. I wish I'm more like her. I just finished the recording meant to be podcast with Julia. It was such a great experience. I'm really excited for you guys to see it. It was the way that Julia was asking her questions, the way she was conversing with me back and forth. It's so good. Like this is going to be a great podcast episode. I'm going to link it down below. So it's about my journey so far, how I broke into data science, all of the internship experiences I've had in the past, how I got those internships. So if you're interested in my journey, definitely check it out. It has all the good information in there. Now I'm going to order some sushi because I am hungry. I ordered your six piece sushi, six piece sashimi and California roll combo, uh, seaweed salad and your mango hand roll please. Guys, she was so nice. She brought out my food because I went in there and they said there's still going to be like another five minutes and I had my car sort of illegally parked outside because there was no any other parking spot available and and she brought it outside for me. It's really sweet. I did some content work this morning between maybe 7.30 until now. So my first thing on the agenda today at work is a meeting with the CEO of the company. Um, it's between the CEO and the whole research team. We do meet with the CEO quite regularly. I think that's part of the perks of being in a startup. The CEO is technical and we are developing an algorithm right now that's critical to the product that we're pushing out. So he would like to understand our progress and if we have any metrics, if the training time has been reduced, if the results are getting better. I quite enjoy these meetings because I feel like I'm not only expanding my network but also I'm learning a lot about decision making um, and also just like the personal habit of a high performer. <laughs> One thing that came out of a conversation that we had that really changed the way I schedule my time and look at my life is that time is not the most scarce resource but energy is and that is so true especially for an introvert because spending time with certain people or doing certain tasks will drain my energy more than others and you really only have a finite amount of energy per day really beneficial and it has really changed my life so yeah that's the first thing in the morning from 9 to 10 otherwise i don't have meeting until 3 p.m today so i have two back-to-back -back interview from 3 to 5 and between the hour of 10 to 3 i have to fix a bug that has been bugging me i'm pushing out this api but it currently has a bug that wouldn't give the optimal output and it's kind of blocking engineering which is really not good so i'm really trying to get it fixed i spent all day on it yesterday i fixed a few lines of code that i found was problematic but it's still not working um, so i'm really going to just be spending a big chunk of the day today to fix that update the documentation on confluence and push it out to engineering 
Today is just so gloomy. Just look at the weather. It just feels like it's winter already. Here. Yeah. It just feels kind of depressing. I don't like working from home when it's gloomy outside. So I'm going to light a candle. And just to lighten my mood a little bit, you'd be really surprised what a little candle or just changing up the environment can do sometimes. I got this from Home Sense. It smells like ocean and it's really subtle. I love it. This is the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.